these are some of the awards and trophies that I've received over the years here. Some of them academically, some of them athletically. These two medals right here um, mean a special lot to me. They're from my eighth grade conference championship, St. Paul uh, Public School flag football. Uh, I actually was friends. I've been friends with Poe since then. We went to school together at Capitol Hill and uh, we played together and we got the championship together. Funny story is that we actually played against Noah. Um, didn't know him at the, at the time, but uh, he went to Murray Middle School and uh, you know it was a heartbreaker for them, but uh, I'm glad that we won it. I mean, it means a lot to me. That's why I'm pointing it out. Um, to show, you know, like from St. Paul, I'm proud to be from St. Paul. I grew up in Frogtown. Um, I love these and it means a lot to me, but the one thing I'm looking for now is the St. Paul Parks and Rec uh, Championship Trophy because uh, I grew up in Frogtown, the tournaments held in Frogtown, at the Frogtown Rec Center. I used to go to that rec center, I used to go to that field and train and run around and throw around and you know it's all coming full circle that Witness has a chance to win it all again two years in a row. Unfortunately we didn't win last year so hopefully we can win it this year. Coach Vai Yang, offensive coordinator for Witness Football. I was born in South Dakota, uh, but before I was one, moved to California, Southern California, uh, and so grew up in Southern California, and then later on, Central California. And then later on, uh, God called me, and so moved to Minnesota to come to Crown College here in Minnesota. And so been here since uh, 2000, uh, and was also uh, lucky enough and blessed enough to also play collegiate football there as well. Witness to me is, is family. Uh, it's more than just football. I think when we started this, we intended it to be football, but it's become more than football. It's the friendships that's built uh, over the years and what keeps Witness alive and what keeps me coming back after all these years. I often say to our players and, and to our team and our coaches that football is what we do, but it's not who we are. My football journey, I was exposed to sports. Um, introduced to football and sports from my two older brothers who impacted me in my life. They wanted me to play because I was a heavier set kid. And so I played uh, growing up, my brother put me in Pop Warner and uh, I loved it. But of course, uh, I got cut from the team, uh, not because I was uh, not good enough, but because I was too big and so they had a weight restriction. And so I couldn't cut weight enough to uh, I think I was short five pounds or so, and so I couldn't play the season because I was too heavy. Uh, and so uh, I didn't play again until I moved to Fresno, and then um, I didn't want to play football much anymore. I still love the sport, but my brother uh, kind of forced me in to play uh, as an outlet to get away from what was going on, going on in the 90s in, in, in Fresno, in the streets of Fresno. And so uh, I played and uh, I was lucky and blessed enough to um, play for a really good program, a high school program in Central California. The window started back in 2008, 2009, and I remember receiving a call from uh, Coach James, who's uh, one of my uh, brothers and, and long life best friends, and so he wanted to start this football team. And of course, at that time, uh, we were out of college and I was already serving in ministry uh, at a church, so I, I couldn't play. But I told him I could help him out. A couple years after that, Coach James felt called to uh, go overseas. He got married, and so we were going to close the door on Witness football. And so um, it was sad, but uh, some players didn't want. So we addressed it to the team um, that everybody was free to, you know, play or, or go wherever they want to, and that we were just going to close the door on Witness. 
uh, just with um, the next chapter in, in, in our lives. Um, but some of the players called me up. Uh, I still remember called me up and emailed me and said, hey, let's keep it going. Can you keep coaching? And so it was something that I had to personally uh, pray about and talk to my wife about it. And uh, I was like, all right, you know, um, after um, months of thinking, um, decided to uh, continue and keep witness alive. And so I took over as head coach for uh, the next couple of years. And so um, we kept it going. Uh, we um, had a lot of growing pains um, because we were going to close, we closed the door. So some people thought we were done. And so, uh, but through it, uh, growing up on, on my part as a coach too, and, and uh, us as a team, but um, we kept it um, all the way until Coach James came back and um, things got busier. And so I went back to offensive coordinator and Coach James came back and took over head, uh, head coaching um, uh, duties again. You don't want Mesopotamia. Yeah. Oh, yeah. Hey, I did a, a fifth-grade project on that. For real? Yeah. What's it called? That's so Portamia. Hey! Hey! Good work, right? Hey, we got one more left, right? Hey, sure. offense, right? Hey, we're the work out there. We didn't, hey, we didn't make, we didn't get that much played, but we made the most out of what we could, all right? Hey, but we still need to get better, all right? We still need to clean up things, all right? Because they haven't even seen the final form of our team yet. You guys yes, got sir. it? Yes, right? Nice job, let's go, bring it in. Go! Oh, oh, yeah. 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 We're not done, done, yet. done Come yet. on. Let's go. Hey, hey, two years in a row, we're back to back in the chance again. Hey, let's find a way to finish it now, let's go. Yes, hey, win us all three. One, two, three. As much as I love football, for me it's always God, faith, family, and then football. I'm passionate and love football. I, I love the Lord more. I'm saved not only by uh, the grace of God. And so uh, that's where my passion in my life uh, is dedicated to, into serving uh, God and, and uh, in the church and ministry and in uh, the area of music. Other than that, I'm a, I'm a father, a husband. And so blessed and lucky enough to have three beautiful kids who I love dearly. Monk flag football uh, or monk sports uh, is important um, because of the impact that it has, the platform that it offers for monk athletes, uh, young or old, uh, to compete, to coach, um, um, just not uh, with each other, um, but 
uh, even outside the Hmong community, uh, it's so important. And we've seen how it grown. We've seen the opportunities that it led to, and most importantly, the relationships that it's built, um, and also the um, positivity that it has uh, within the community and those that are involved in it or maybe not even involved in it. It's very important and it's allowed building people up and um, encouraging um, people as well.
know we did get the outcome we wanted though, but at the very end, y'all boys fought. Uh, little boy came out after halftime. Y'all boys fought very end, so I'm proud of you guys, man. Y'all did get the outcome we wanted, you know? But keep your head up, man. How was the game, You know, my friends and even family always ask me that I'm not a player and I just coach and we don't get paid to do this. Um, been doing this for almost 15 years, you know, and everything is just, you give more, right? And you receive. And I think that's the whole point of it. I think when it comes to football, that's the reason why I keep coming back, why I keep coaching is, is to keep giving. It's just amazing just being able to you know, year, you know, each every summer, just to pour into these kids that maybe never had this kind of opportunities, and um, to make this impact, to to teach them uh, the game of football, or or just things in life, and build these relationship, um, and they get to learn and and to do things that they've never have been given the opportunity to do before, or by or by another person, or or never had. Um, given this opportunity by because maybe they didn't have brothers or fathers or father figures um, overall it's just more than than football it's more than mong flag football and so i think how i grew up um just how people invested in, in poor in me and, and and how i was taught this game and and how people believed in me and in the same way i just tried to do the same to to those that i'm able to coach and to teach um, and just to see even with some, the small few that I'm able to uh, impact in some way you know, in their life, uh, just not uh, in football or learning the game, um, but also in their life, um, it means a lot to me. And I think that's what we're called to do, um, regardless if it's football or whatever in life, is to make impact, um, uh, positive impact on people. And so, um, that's something about Witness that is unique and the story within uh, Witness uh, that is just more than football. It's just more than uh, showing up to practice and competing and trying to win championship in games. Uh, of course, uh, that's something that we, we try to do and we want to do, but that's not everything. <laughs>